My name is John Archibald Wheeler. I believe everything is made up of bits. So listen to me. It from bit, it from bit, it from bit. John Wheeler's it from bit doctrine proposes that every item of the physical world has at its bottom, at the very foundation of its being, an immaterial source and explanation. That is, that all things physical ultimately arise from information. The Planck length, approximately 1.6 times 10 to power of minus 35 meters, is considered the smallest meaningful length scale in the universe. If we treat it as the size of a fundamental bit of information, this suggests that space-time itself is quantized. In this view, the universe can be thought of as a vast, three-dimensional grid of Planck-length-sized bits, where each bit carries information. This quantization supports Wheeler's idea that at the most fundamental level, reality is informational. The notion that the Planck length represents the smallest possible bit implies a limit to the density of information in space-time, aligning with the idea that physical laws and the structure of space-time emerge from information constraints. This limitation could explain why physical constants and laws behave as they do, underpinning the universe's structure with information. The holographic principle, suggested by theoretical physicist Gerard at Hooft, was inspired by the work on black hole thermodynamics by Stephen Hawking and Jacob Bekenstein, which showed that the entropy of a black hole, a measure of the amount of information it contains, is proportional to the area of its event horizon, not its volume. Overall, the principle posits that all of the information contained within a volume of space can be represented as encoded information on the boundary of that space. This principle supports it from bit by suggesting that our three-dimensional reality could emerge from two-dimensional information patterns. Thus, the physical universe we observe might indeed be a holographic projection of underlying informational bits. In quantum mechanics, the state of a particle is described by a wave function, which contains all the possible states of the particle. The act of measurement collapses the wave function to a definite state, suggesting that information obtained through measurement plays a crucial role in determining the physical reality of the particle. This collapse can be seen as a direct transition from potentiality, information, to actuality, physical reality, supporting the it from bit doctrine. Moreover, quantum entanglement demonstrates that particles can be connected in such a way that the state of one, no matter how far apart the other is, instantly informs the state of the other. This spooky action at a distance implies a foundational level of the universe where information transfer does not adhere to classical limitations, such as the speed of light. This non-locality of information in quantum mechanics underscores the concept that information, rather than just matter or energy, is fundamental. While there are theoretical arguments for it from bit, direct empirical evidence demonstrating that information truly precedes physical reality is lacking. Without such evidence, the doctrine remains speculative. For example, the role of the observer in quantum mechanics raises questions about consciousness and measurement. If information is fundamental, how does consciousness arise from or interact with this informational substrate? This remains a major unanswered question that challenges the simplicity of the it-from-bit proposal. Additionally, 
Some argue that even if information plays a crucial role in the structure of reality, it does not negate the existence or primacy of physical entities. Information may describe or influence the physical world without necessarily being its ontological basis.